today's video we're going to cover an overview of how to configure NTP, also known as Network Time Protocol, on our devices. This video forms part of the CCMP Enterprise Core Exam Series 350-401. The exam topic covered in this video is 3.4a, which is Describe Network Time Protocol. So there's a few different configuration items we're going to have a look at as part of this video. So the configuration shown on the screen will allow R1 to synchronize its configuration with uk.pool.ntp.org using the GIG00 interface on the device. The configuration we're going to be using can be found here, however let's go to R1 and configure this now. So first things first, I'm going to go into configuration mode and I'm going to do NTP server uk.pool.ntp.org and enter that. Once I've done that, I'll then specify the source interface I want to use. So in this case, Gigabit Ethernet 00. And there you have it, the configuration's done. An alternative command we can do, which I'll show you now, is we can put this all into one command. So it would be ntp server uk.pool.ntp.org space source and then specify our, our interface, Gigabit Ethernet 00. So now we've configured NTP on our device, we need to confirm that our device is correctly syncing with the NTP server and updating its time correctly. There are two commands we can use to do this. These are show NTP associations and show NTP status. So I'll go onto the device and show you these commands now. If we run a show NTP associations, this will show us if the clock has been synchronized or not. If we have just a squiggly line before the IP address, this means that the server is configured but not yet synchronized. A star and squiggly line means that we are now synchronized with the server. In addition to this, we can also see our stratum number, which is 2. If we're not synced, this would be shown as 16. Next, show NTP status command. This provides a similar output, however it makes it slightly easier to determine if our device's clock is synchronized, stratum of the device, and the reference IP address of the stratum. You can see here, I'll show you a before and after of the show NTP status command. Now we've got our devices synchronized with a time source, we can check the time on our devices. There are two clocks within the Cisco device. These are the software clock, and the hardware clock, both of which operate differently from each other. We can view these clocks with the following commands. So for the software clock, it's show clock, and for the hardware clock, it's show calendar. By default, these clocks aren't synchronized. As such, they can be synchronized with the following command, NTP update calendar. Now we've gone over the basic configuration of NTP, We'll take a look at configuring our devices to be peers with each other. In this example, R1 and R2 have been configured with their primary NTP server associations. We'll now configure R1 and R2 to synchronize their clocks with each other, helping them to sync. The configuration for this can be seen on the screen. However, let's go over to our devices and configure this now. So first of all, on R1, we'll go into configuration mode and then type in NTP and then type in NTP peer and the IP address of R2, which in this case is 10.1.1.2. Once that's done, we'll then go over to R2 and go to configuration mode and type NTP peer 10.1.1.1. Now that's been completed, we now need to check that the configuration has been applied and the devices are peering correctly. This can be done with the show NTP associations command. And now we can see our second device is in the list and peering with each other. And there we have it. That's a complete overview of how to configure NTP on Cisco devices. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you next time.